Should you use an EIN or an SSN for opening up a business bank account? That's the subject of today's question on, I don't really have a name for the show. Hey again, my name is Jim Hart. I'm the founding attorney here at Hawthorne Law, and I have to apologize because we have not been producing content regularly enough for you. And one of the main reasons for that is at the beginning of November, we were notified that our lease was going to be canceled by our landlord. And this happened to everyone that's in our building. It wasn't just us. They couldn't renegotiate their lease with the owner of the building. And so they had to cancel everyone's lease. So we've all been scrambling to find new office space. And I'm actually right now in the process of moving into a new office condo down the road. It's a much bigger space. It's going to be a great space. I'm excited because my it'll give me an opportunity to expand and do some other things. And uh, But that's what's happening, and that's why I haven't been posting videos quite as regularly as I typically would do. Anyway, so today's question comes to us from Emmy Cami one and it says, if you have a single member LLC taxed as a disregarded entity and you want to open a business bank account, should you use the EIN issued for the LLC or should you use your personal social security number? When you're opening up your business bank account for the first time, do you use a social security number or do you, do you use what's called an EIN or an employer identification number? Now, it really depends on the type of business entity that you're going to be using for your business. If you're simply a sole proprietor and you want to open up a new bank account for your business, then you can open up a business bank account and call it a, a DBA um, account or a uh, doing business as account. So it could be in your name, doing business as whatever the name of your business is. And you typically are going to want to register that name with your Secretary of State's office to make sure that nobody else is using that name in your state. Uh, but assuming that's okay and you can do that, that's one way you can do it and you can open up your business actually with your social security number and that's perfectly fine. What most people are going to want to do, however, is when they start their LLC, they're going to want to actually get an employer identification number for their LLC. This is pretty easy. You can do it either online, you can do it on the phone, or you can file what's called a form SS4, which is where you basically state all the specifics about your business and mail it in and they will mail you a employer identification number for your business. You don't need, this doesn't take a long time. It's not a heavy duty process. It's not a hard process. I mean, if you think about it, the IRS is more than happy to give you a number that they can use to identify you with um, a tax liability. So that's basically what this number is doing. So that's what you're going to do. And then you would take that number with you to the bank to open up your business or your business bank account. The other paperwork that you're probably going to need to do this is your Articles of organization or in the event of a corporation, you're going to need your articles of incorporation. And that's basically it. That's what you're going to need. And then you make a deposit and, you know, you're off to the races. Go run, prosper, make some money, and, and hopefully your business will succeed. That's it. So if you like what I'm saying, please make sure to leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment below if you've got any other questions for me. I do take your comments and I use them to turn them into future videos. So the more comments I see, the more questions I see in the comment section, um, the more content I have for videos. And right now I've got, I don't even know, looking off to the side, probably 15 or 20 different ideas for future videos. A lot of them somewhat overlap. But anyway, um, that's how I do it. Um, also, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the button. I'm not sure if it's this side or this side. I think it's this side. Make sure you hit the button down here and and then smash that bell button so that you get notified when we post new videos. And that's it for today. Hope you have a great day, folks. And if you got any other questions, that's fine. Oh, one other thing I do want to mention to you is um, we are currently in the beta testing process of the DIY legal. And if so, if you want to sign up for that, there will be a link. I'll probably put a link up here and there will be a link down in the description below so you can sign up for that. If you're interested, um, we've got a few members in now, and we're probably going to be doing our first group call Thursday, Thursday of this week. That's it. Have a great day. Peace out, party people.